Hey everyone, it's Mackenzie. In this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off and we're gonna talk a little bit about the treatment process. So the treatment that I had is called an autologous stem cell transplant. And the process takes in totality about a, about a month. So I started the process in the beginning of July, 2017. I went out to Mayo and really the first step is to have a central line put into your chest. So a central line is essentially an IV, like what you'd have in your hand or in your arm, um, but, it, but it stays in for the duration of the treatment. So it's really nice that you don't have to get stuck in the arm or in the hand every day because it really does become quite painful after a while. So that's really the first step is to have that put in. And then the next step is to have a series of four injections. It's one each day they go into the stomach and the purpose of the injections is to really rev up the body and produce a ton of stem cells and as you produce more and more they ultimately get pushed from the bone marrow where they're produced into the bloodstream so that they're super easy to collect from your central line. After the four days uh, they draw your blood to see, see sort of the level of stem cells in your blood and make sure that you have enough to proceed to collection. So I was just shy, I didn't have enough. So on the fourth day that evening, I ended up having a booster shot to kind of make sure that, it, that I reached the, the threshold to start collection. So the next day you start collection. So collection is really the third step in the process and um, it's about a day long process and depending on how many you collect that day, it can take a multiple days. So your doctor will typically set a goal of how many stem cells they want you to collect in order to make sure that transplant is successful, but also you have enough left over to store in case you ever need a transplant again. Uh, so my goal personally from my physician was to collect six, six million stem cells. So that process, you show up in the morning, they hook your central line up to a sort of a filtration device that separates out your stem cells and your platelets into separate bags, which are then ultimately frozen until you have your transplant. So the process takes about six hours and you lay in bed. It's very easy, it's painless. You can watch TV, you can sleep, you can talk with your family. And then once your, your time is up, you get to go home. After you go home, they will count how many stem cells you collected that day and then give you a call as to whether you need to come back the next day or not. So when they called me, I ended up collecting 24 million stem cells. So I have a ton in the bank, which is great, but I ended up collecting 24 million. So I didn't need to come back for collection a second day and I could go straight into chemo. And my doctor said, you know, because of your age, because you have no organ involvement, because you're otherwise completely healthy, you know, let's do one day of high dose chemo and just keep the ball rolling. So that's what we did. The next day I came back to the hospital and had a single dose of Melphalan 200. And again, like the collection, it was very easy to hook you up to your central line and they infuse the chemo. It took about an hour and I just played Bananagrams with my family. It was very quick and they have you suck on popsicles to prevent mouth sores, which we'll touch on. It didn't really work, but uh, I did it anyways. And, and then once the bag is done, you go home. So uh, I went home, felt fine, no problems. And then two days later, I came back and had my transplant or my second birthday. And so your transplant day, you come back to the hospital they hook you up to your central line again and they infuse all of the stem cells that you'd previously donated. Again, it's very easy, it's painless, you don't feel anything. They give you Benadryl to prevent any allergic reactions with the preservatives that the cells are frozen in. Um, so you're pretty tired, you're just relaxed, you just kind of lay there. But um, that's, that's, that's really all that that entails. So after the transplant, it was probably another two or three days before I started feeling the effects of chemotherapy. Uh, I ended up developing 
severe nausea. I was constantly throwing up. I constantly had diarrhea. I lost all my hair and lost all energy. I wasn't able to eat and I couldn't take any of my daily medications. So I ended up having to be admitted um, for that reason so I could have my medications delivered intravenously. Um, so I spent a week in the hospital and I really just had no energy so I laid in bed every day and by the end of the week um, the blood draws that you have every day revealed that my uh, my count so my white um, my white blood cells my neutrophils had really started to rise to a level that was safe enough for me to go home so after I was released I had my final interview with my physician and he said you are good to go home. So that was really what the treatment process was like. Um, in retrospect, you know, the days were long, but looking back, you know, it was totally worth it. And I'm so happy that I did it. And um, so I hope, I hope you learned something from it. I hope it was useful to you. And most importantly, I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.